In the quiet embrace of nostalgia, have you ever stumbled upon a piece of cinematic magic that whisked you away to a world where traditions danced with the winds of change? Cast your thoughts back to that crisp evening when you first encountered the timeless allure of the 1971 cinematic treasure, Fiddler on the Roof. Do you recall the feeling as the opening chords of tradition washed over you, ushering you into the heart of Anitka's charming chaos? Perhaps it was Tevi's endearing conversations with God that tugged at your heartstrings, making you ponder the delicate balance between faith and fate. And oh, the wedding scene, a symphony of joy and melancholy, where laughter and tears waltz together in perfect harmony. Picture those roof-perched fiddles serenading the starlit night, painting a scene that whispered tales of resilience and love in the face of life's uncertainties. As we journey together through the tapestry of Fiddler on the Roof, let's unravel some enchanting behind-the-scenes threads that might have eluded your gaze. From casting anecdotes that almost took different turns to the real-life inspirations that breathed life into the characters, these random revelations promise to deepen your connection with this cinematic gem. So, my fellow traveler through the annals of cultural delight, prepare to uncover the hidden layers of this masterpiece, each fact a gem that adds a touch more sparkle to your appreciation of Fiddler on the Roof. And as we embark on this captivating journey, remember that every chord struck and every line spoken resonates with the universal chord of human experience. And now, without further ado, let's lift the curtain on these captivating details, woven intricately into the legacy of Fiddler on the Roof. Step into the world where laughter and heartache intertwine, where dreams take flight against the backdrop of tradition, and where the music of life echoes through the ages. Fiddler on the Roof, a 1971 film adaptation of the beloved Broadway musical, is a poignant exploration of tradition, change, and family bonds set in the Jewish Shtetl of Anivka during pre-revolutionary Russia. Directed by Norman Jewison, the film is based on the original musical created by Joseph Stein, Jerry Bach, and Sheldon Harnick, which was in turn inspired by Sholem Aleichem's stories. The story follows Tevi, a poor milkman played by Topol, as he grapples with the challenges posed by his five daughters' desire for love and choice in marriage against the backdrop of a changing world. The iconic characters, from Tevi and his wife Gold to the endearing matchmaker Yent and the spirited daughters, infuse the narrative with heart and depth. The film's unique style seamlessly blends humor and emotion, underscored by memorable songs like Tradition, Sunrise, Sunset, and If I Were a Rich Man. Fiddler on the Roof resonated with audiences through its universal themes of cultural identity, generational shift, and the tension between heritage and progress. Its impact on popular culture is evident in its enduring influence on theater, film, and discussions about tradition in a changing world. It remains a timeless exploration of the human experience, continuing to touch hearts and minds across generations. Casting intrigue and unlikely choices, unveiling the stars of Fiddler on the Roof and the intricate web of casting decisions for the 1971 cinematic masterpiece Fiddler on the Roof, one name stands out, Paul Michael Glaser. A revelation uncovered from the archives reveals the remarkable journey that brought Glaser into the spotlight as per Chick, a role he initially doubted he could embody. Casting virtuoso Lynn Stalmaster champion Glaser, defying both his hesitation and conventional wisdom. At 27, Glaser believed himself too advanced in years for the part, but Stalmaster persisted, leading to a pivotal meeting with producer Norman Jewison. The initial skepticism shared by Jewison and Glaser would soon transform during shared conversations and moments of revelation. Jewison's about face in casting Glaser wasped without precedent. In the grand tapestry of Hollywood, such serendipitous about faces underscore the industry's unfathomable intrigue. A production design department embarked on a parallel odyssey of its own, scouring Europe to unearth a locale reminiscent of pre-revolution Russia, where the story is set. The Soviet Union's exclusion, particularly Ukraine, ground zero for the SH title narrative, spurred the pursuit of authenticity elsewhere. Their quest culminated in rural Yugoslavia, now Croatia, which unexpectedly echoed the lost world of SH title life. However, this homage to a bygone era belies a tragic footnote. The once thriving SH titles of Eastern Europe were ravaged, particularly by the Russian Civil War of 1919. This upheaval resulted in the displacement and massacre of countless Jews, leaving the SH title way of life forever shattered. The poignant setting chosen for Fiddler on the Roof carries with it the echoes of history's heart-rending chapters. Yet, even behind the scenes, life's poignant undertones were at play. Norma Crane, an irreplaceable member of the cast, concealed a life-altering secret, a diagnosis of breast cancer. Unveiled from the shadows of time, Crane's silent battle casts her performance in a new light, a testament to her unyielding commitment to her craft. Among those who bore witness to her silent struggle were director Norman Jewison, her co-star Topol, and associate producer Patrick J. Palmer, forming a close-knit circle of confidants who protected her secret from the world. The 1971 masterpiece, Fiddler on the Roof, was more than just a film, it was an ensemble of extraordinary narratives. From Glaser's unexpected ascension to the ensemble's quiet valor, the echoes of history and human spirit reverberate through its frames, enriching a classic with stories untold. 
The past holds its secrets, but in their revelation, the film's tapestry gains an indelible layer of depth, inviting us to peer beyond the surface and uncover the hidden treasures beneath. Fiddler on the Roof, the beloved 1971 film adaptation of the iconic Broadway musical, shines as a cinematic gem intertwined with history and culture. At a staggering cost of $9 million, this production marked United Artists' most lavish venture of 1970. Bringing the heartwarming tale of Tevi the Milkman to the big screen, the film resonated with audiences worldwide. The roots of Fiddler on the Roof trace back to its Broadway debut at the Imperial Theatre on September 22, 1964. With an extraordinary 3,242 performances, the show etched its name in history as the longest-running production on Broadway, a record previously held by Life with Father for 25 years. Zero Mostel, a theatrical force, embodied the character of Tevi, capturing the essence of the story's central figure. Notably, B. Arthur, known for her roles in Maud and the Golden Girls, graced the stage as Yent, adding her inimitable touch to the ensemble. This Broadway triumph extended to the 1965 Tony Awards, where Fiddler on the Roof garnered accolades for Best Musical, Best Author, and Best Score. The production secured its place as the 15th longest-running show in Broadway history, an enduring testament to its impact on the theatrical landscape. Jewish customs and traditions, pivotal to the narrative's fabric, were meticulously rendered with authenticity. The film's creators ensured these elements were portrayed accurately, paying homage to the heritage that provided the story's rich tapestry. Fiddler on the Roof remains a cinematic jewel, interweaving music, culture, and history into a timeless masterpiece. Its journey from Broadway to the silver screen, encapsulating tradition and change, love and resilience, continues to captivate audiences, bridging generations with its enduring charm. Yugoslavia's silver screen diplomacy, Fiddler on the Roof's unlikely filming locale in the realm of cinematic history. The 1971 classic Fiddler on the Roof stands as a testament to the power of diplomacy, driven by a unique blend of art and politics. Director Norman Jewison's vision came to life against a backdrop of international intrigue, with President Josip Braz Tito of Yugoslavia playing an unexpected role in its creation. The film's narrative, set in the Russian SH title of Anitka, painted a vivid picture of the Jewish experience in a time of change. Notably, Fiddler on the Roof depicted the horrors of anti-Semitic pogroms, a depiction that caught the attention of both admirers and adversaries. While Jewison's directorial prowess was undeniable, the path to realization was fraught with challenges. President Tito, a devoted cinephile, saw an opportunity in hosting the production on his soil. Despite the disapproval of Russian counterparts who recognized the film's implicit criticism of pogroms, Tito's affinity for cinema and his commitment to international cooperation prevailed. With his endorsement secured, the production gained access to the scenic landscapes of Yugoslavia, serving as a stand-in for the SH title of Anitka. Yet, Fiddler on the Roof harbored a creative secret. The enchanting sequence known as Tevi's Dream was transformed into a monochromatic dreamscape, contrasting with the vibrant palette of the rest of the film. This stylistic choice lent the sequence an otherworldly quality, blurring the line between reality and imagination. Curiously, a full-color rendition of the sequence existed, hidden away on the special edition DVD. Amidst its musical numbers and heart-rending performances, Fiddler on the Roof found itself straddling the realms of cinema and politics. The film's very existence was a nod to the influence of film on international relations, with President Tito's cinephilia bridging the gap between cultures. The Russian disapproval underscored the film's audacious stance, standing as a testament to the power of art to reflect and critique societal complexities. As the final curtain fell on Fiddler on the Roof, it left an indelible mark on cinematic history, a tale of cross-cultural collaboration and artistic daring against a backdrop of global politics. The film's unexpected Yugoslavian connection underscores the intricate dance between creativity and diplomacy that remains a hallmark of the silver screen. As we part ways, I encourage you to linger a moment in the world of Fiddler on the Roof, a timeless masterpiece that resonates with the threads of our own lives. Just as Tevi and his village grapple with tradition and change, we too find ourselves tugged between the known and the unknown, our personal stories woven into the broader tapestry of existence. Whether you've danced along with the spirited melodies, shed a tear at the heartfelt struggles, or found solace in the profound wisdom that the movie imparts, Fiddler on the Roof is more than celluloid, it's a mirror reflecting the joys, trials, and dreams of human existence. As you reflect on your own journey, consider the moments when the movie's melodies whispered to your heart, or when its characters felt like old friends. What resonance do the words sunrise, sunset hold in your life's chapters? How does the concept of tradition intertwining with change strike a chord within you? I invite you to share your cherished memories, the scenes that linger like a fond melody, and the lessons that have nestled deep within your soul after watching this cinematic gem. Your thoughts and stories are the living testament to the enduring power of storytelling, connecting hearts across time and space. 
Thank you for investing your time and curiosity in this conversation. It's been a delight to explore the rich tapestry of Fiddler on the Roof with you. Until our paths converge again, keep the melodies of life close to your heart. Warmly, your name.